Welcome to another installment of Inside the Mine of Manolo and the Attic of Jimmy Tropicana. <laughs> he's over there. Attic? He's over there doing whatever he's doing, but here's what we are doing. <laughs> We're gonna smack that shit and play actual golf because that's what goes on. Golf. So you're gonna go inside our mind to go to what we think, why we think, where we think, when we think, what we think in order to smack that shit the best way we think possible. He thinks different than Manolo, Manolo thinks different than him, and you certainly think different than the both of us. But this is gonna help your game tremendously into thinking around the course the right way. Check it out. Here we go. Par five on this particular hole. I am going to tee the golfing ball up. But before I do that, I wanna show you something. You see the line on this golfing ball? I should be shot that I'm teeing off with the chitty ball, but whatever, check it out. It's a straight line. All the golfing balls have that. You would like to put the line down where you would like the golfing ball to go. <clears throat> so right. what we're gonna do is do that. I do that on every single tee ball. I put the line where I want it to go, so I now have a better vision of like, okay, that's where it's going, that's where it's going. You should try that. Then I go into my pre-shot routine, which is practice swing one, good. And practice swing two, good just to feel it out. Now smack that shit. All I think on a par five, which is a long hole, it's a long ways away, is what do I gotta do to put a good move and watch the club hit the ball? I do not swing out of my shoes. I keep my shoes on. You're swinging out of your shoes a lot of you. I'm gonna rip it 350. I'm gonna get on in two. Today's the day I make my eagle. You make eagles by making great contact, not swinging out of your shoes. Whoa. Okay, three, two, one, check it out. Okay, boom, lined up nasty. Waggle that shit, smack that shit, watch the club hit the ball, that's it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Perfection. My little baby cutter, which is my go-to shot, came out. I swung a touch aggressive which I shouldn't have done, but I watched the club hit the ball, we're in play. Jimmy, speak to the people. So I'm gonna do the same thing. My most important thing is keeping the ball on the grass. Everybody gets to a par five and goes, where's my driver? I'm gonna hit a three iron and show you that you can still play and still make good scores as long as the ball's on the grass. You're hitting a three iron, you're such a pissy. Oh, thanks. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because- Who cares? When I win the money, it's all good. Get the ball in play. A three iron does just that. You don't have to smack driver always, right? Right. So just get it on the grass. Okay. Do two little easy things. I turn back and wave at the camera with my right hand, little Hi. lateral push, and then turn through. Okay. Just as long as it's on the grass, that's all I want to do. Muy bien. Right on the grass. And now we're off. I didn't want to hit it in the street. I didn't want to hit it in the forest. And what's the most important thing in golf, we believe? Being in play. Well, that's the most important. There you thing. go. Because you can hit it 375,000 yards, and if it's on the street, <laughs> all over the place. What does it matter? You can put a golfing ball into orbit. Wow, look at that. Yeah, bro. Oh, you're hitting three, though. You think they've ever played golf in space? Oh, I've seen it. You were there? I wasn't there, but I have seen the footage. Who played? I don't know if it was AI though, or they like superimposed, you know? Tiger Woods? Who's him? Tiger. I know who gets this. They were on the moon. There was a guy in a space outfit back in the 60s. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Have you ever seen the, uh, the Borat where he goes, he met, uh, what's his name? Armstrong? Neil, Neil Armstrong. Armstrong. Who's the other guy? Buzz. Buzz Aldrin, Buzz Perro. Aldrin. So Buzz Lightyear. He met Buzz Aldrin and he goes, <laughs> he goes, oh, I like you. He goes, Buzz Lightyear, first man to do moonwalk. <laughs> he goes, no, 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 I'm Buzz Aldrin. I, I'm the first one to walk on the moon. He goes, yeah, <laughs> I'm right there in the fairway. He thought he was the first man to do the moon. Oh. All right, I'm good. I'm in the middle. Was it Michael Jackson? The first man to James do Brown. Play? James Brown did it. There's no James Brown, there is no Michael Jackson. That is one dirty man. All right, here we go. So look, I'm in the fairway. I hit a three iron. And yeah, it's not the most uh, aggressive play, but it's a long hole. And now I have to keep it moving. So guess what I'm going to hit? Another three iron. Last time I checked, 
That's grass. Yeah, that's grass. And now I can just do it again and then do it one more time. And guess what? Putting for birdie, if I do it correctly. Take the same technique. I turn back, wave to the camera. When I say wave to the camera, I mean this right hand. This goes back and I wave to the camera. A lot of people are up here. That's no good. This is Slice City. You get it way up here, slice across it, it's in the street. So I feel like I turn back, I wave to the camera, push my hips just a little bit, not even a push, and just falling, recentering. I fall towards the target and then I sweep the ground. Looks something like this. Ooh, shot. that's it. Ball's kind of back in my stance, wave to the camera, lean forward, sweep the ground. It goes 200 yards. Muy bien. Dead straight. And I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Let's go see Mr. Manolo. Look at it. It's the feds. Where are they going to land there, Frankie? On the fairway? $100, whoever hits the plane. All right, here we go. All right, Mancholo. Right in the middle, Mike. It's pretty good. Okay, you're up. Okay, here's what I see. Viewers, wherever you are viewing, <laughs> you could be streaming, you could be on your mobile device, you could be on your pad, whatever. That's very narrow up there. I can roast the three wood, depending on the rhythm or the situation, okay, fine, but I like to play golf. I like to hit shots. I like to get a wedge in my hand somehow and make sure that I'm doing the right thing playing, having fun, hitting shots. I like to do that. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a six iron because why not? And I'm just going to hit it up in there to get to a wedge distance of some sort. So let's try it. Here you go, sir. Okay. Six is the upside down nine. Ooh, nasty. Mm -hmm. Is the, the line is on the bottom. That's how you know which one is which. Oh. So you have 275, 280 yards. Most people pull out a three wood because that's the club that they think they need to hit. And there is a street that cars is drive on. Yeah. There's a hill that goats. Goats. Is live on. Yeah. I don't want to be with the goats. I don't want to be with the cars. I want to be with the grass. Yeah. And hey, mine, his shots. Boom. One. And then boom. Two. Great. Figured out my line, fantastic. Ready, go. Okay, it's safe, it's on the grass, right side, 130 yards out. You got a wedge in your hand. Okay. Once again, wasn't the best swing. We're starting out, we're having a little fun, we're warming, ball's leaking a little. So I now know a little bit of a leak means that I'm probably not doing a couple things. So I'm just gonna make sure that I slow everything down a touch more, take it back, make sure I'm using my body, make sure I'm getting and releasing. I could be peaking a little bit. This happens to everybody, especially you. So take the ball flight, figure out, okay, stay a little more through it, a little more down, a little more ritmo. These are things that we process in the mind. Sorry, I, I saw short, those wheels. I short circuited. But the most important part is that even though it leaked a little bit, if you would have hit a three wood and tried to get it there, that thing would have leaked into the street. Very and well then put. What? Very well put. And now you have to drop here and you're about to put a big number on the scorecard. And now you're going to go home to your lady and you're going to tell her, ah, you're never going to believe it. I could have shot 79. <laughs> And she says, shut 79. 79 what? 79 what the what? hell is that? It's freezing up here. 70, it's 42 degrees. What, 79. No, I didn't mean about the weather. I mean about I was golfing. And then she says, ah, oh, uh, okay, golf. here we go. You're talking about the golfing? Did you know that your kid threw up on the other kid? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? Well, I, but Who I could have shot 79. Yeah, for sure. Mine. We're sitting here. We're on grass. And we she have doesn't a chance care. To she doesn't care. Let's go to yours couldn't first. couldn't care less. You're she just cares that you're home safe and you love her. But it's a blue pin, blue flag. I mean, it's in the back. 
There's 150 right there. All right. This is good because this is a typical shot here. Yeah, we're in some rough, we're in some stuff. All right. What's the angle of the dangle? Don't be nasty. 157? Okay. 149. That was way off. So I could have hit five iron. Doesn't matter. We're here. That's another thing. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. The past is the past. And the present is right now. And the future, who knows what it holds. Right. We worry about now. Forget that shit, man. Start doing the right thing right now. 149 is the number. Focus. Speak, speaking about the present, what do you, what do you think you're going to be getting me for Christmas? Just putting really? it out there. It's November. You got to plan ahead. 149, blue flag, mm -hmm. which means it's in the back. Mm -hmm. This hole plays a little bit up, so I'm automatically going to add five yards. So we're looking at 154. But I like to do the yardages, and you should too, just to the numbers. Zero, five, zero. 150, 155, 160, boom, that's 155. Add a little, it's fine. I don't want to go past the flag. I want to make sure that I'm under the hole. Don't be nasty so I can have an uphill putt. So 155, I'm just going to take a smooth eight. I'm not going to do nothing crazy, just a smooth eight to get me where I want. This is middle of the green. That's the only thing on my mind. The middle of the green. Okay. That's what I'm aiming at. The flag is whatever. The flag's up there. But I'm thinking right here, let's get a putter in hand. Let's put a good move on the back of the ball. And let's... What about this lie? It's in the rough. Is anything affected by it? The grass it. is fine. I'm looking down here that there's a little bit of grass in between the ball. So it's not going to make perfect contact with this beautiful golfing club. Uh -huh. But... It's not buried. It's not super thick. I can hit an eight iron and I should be able to hit an eight iron up there on the green somewhere. That's the goal. Okay. And you said your number to the middle was what? 149, but I'm adding five. So it's more like 155. Eight irons, kind of a 160 club. So I'm just going to smooth it, it and just get it kind of up in there. And this should be just fine. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Anywhere on the green is good. For sure. Oh man, that's good. Wow. Okay. Here's here's what I want the viewers to notice. Yes. Oh, Whatever I did, I was able to stay athletically balanced and hold the finish. Granted, I practiced that shit, but a lot of amateurs is doing this. Falling over. Full blown dance steps. Yeah. We're at the club. We're not at the club. We're at the golfing course. Try and get to a nice high, beautiful, held finish that will promote good ball striking and balance. You want balance in your life. I heard that. And fiber. You want fiber too. And rival flavor. So you hit a nine, you hit an eight iron? Look at that. All right. That was an eight. And I hit it great. I did. Okay. And 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 it it boom, it did. I did a lot of good things and the golfing ball went what I envisioned. It was a great shot. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, good. So I'm five yards ahead of you. So I'm going to hit a nine iron because you hit an eight iron. And I'm not really worried about the distance. I just want to hit it somewhere on the green. Because remember, I hit a three iron sure. off the tee box. So all I'm trying to do is par, if not bogey this, and keep my round going. So I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. Turn back, wave to the camera, fall onto my front foot, and sweep the ground. So I like it. on the green. It's good. That's it. Good. So from my vantage point, yeah. Sure, you caught it a little thin, right? You know that that's fine. Yeah. But your decision to choose that club, also going up, allowed for the golfing ball to chase back there. You weren't crazy. I didn't see you get aggressive. You did a lot of good things, and the ball thinned its way up. You didn't hit it chunky. You didn't hit it fatty. Right. You I put didn't it hit it perfect, which is what everybody thinks they have to do is hit perfect shots. No. And. I still have a chance. It's probably just on the fringe. If yeah, not I mean, you on. might even be pin high because the pin is way back there. But the thing is this. Golf 
is simply a game of misses. Right. I can promise you this. If you hit one golfing shot in your entire life, exactly how you envisioned it, the trajectory, the spin, the wind, the everything, it might happen once. Even the pros say it, like never, never. It might happen for them like once around, like that is exactly what I was seeing. Yeah. But it's a game of misses. You're just missing your way around a course. Who misses the, the smallest? Hey, that's a pretty small miss. Let's take a look at this. There's mine and there's yours. So guess what? After all that nonsense and getting yelled at for hitting a three iron off the tee box, uh -huh. I kept it in play and I'm still putting for birdie, which is absolutely That's a mine. pajarito mine. And I don't, I don't even care if I make this. Whoa, I almost lost the leg. I don't even care if I make this. Sure, I want to make it, but if hold I on, don't. Hold on. This is a huge part of our video, of our movie. Oh. Come on. <clears throat> Look at this green. Not everyone is blessed to have these wonderful greens, but it does not matter. This is the one part of golf where you've got to take care of it. I don't care if you're a cochino marrano, you don't put deodorant, you don't put cologne, you don't clean your shit, I don't care. But here, please, for everybody, this was not his and this was not mine. But some lazy perro, princesa, didn't do it. From the back, in, 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 in. And then move the front a little, move the front a little, move the fronts, move the sides, move the ba ba ba. Take the putter and erase it. That's it. You can do that. Let's go up here and do it one more time. I'll harp on this till the day as does. That's a hell of a pitch mark. Watch that thing disappear. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and okay, and okay. And then for the sake of the commas, in here like that, bring that part in, bring it in, boom, 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 shag it out. Wow. You're like Manolo Copperfield. Oh my God. Does that not turn you on, bro? I'm very <laughs> oh my turned. God, I'm going to get it. I'm very turned. All right. Nice job. Thank you. you did great. All right. Now I'm going to make this putt. Oh, but you don't care. You I want care. to, but it, it's not like a thing. All I want to do is make sure that I don't two put, uh, three putt it. So I know it's going to break that way. So I'm just going to give myself plenty of room for error. How hard do I have to hit it? That hard. That hard. That hard. And just let it get to the hole. Corre, corre, corre. Fine with me. I hit two three irons, a nine iron, and two putts. Cinco. On a long hole for a par. Uh -huh. No blood. I keep going and I'm happy. A lot of people can benefit from doing that. Keeping yeah. it together. Everybody can. Trying to do too much. Oh, bro, that's a bug. Come here, man. Come on. Come on. That's a cockroach. It's not a rush, bro. You are. <laughs> Off you go. All right, my little birdie. Let's see what you got here. I don't kill nature, bro. Are you trying to make this? I mean, I'm always trying to make a makeable putt. Ho, ho, ho. But pars are good. Okay, here's what I see. Okay, That's Thank what you. the whole thing is about, right? All right? The show is about what's going on. Okay. My job was to put it to the middle of the green. However, remember how I told you that the grass might get in between the golf ball and it might not make proper contact? Because the ball hit my eight iron and there was grass in between, it shot it another 10 yards. I kind of knew that. So look at exactly where we're at. I gave myself one five five to the hole and look where we're at. 56, 57, 58, 59. We're at about 160, which is what my eight iron goes. So I know I'm safe. I knew I had a little bit of room. Now I have a downhill putt. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't hit it in the sweet spot. It's downhill. I'm going to hit it off the toe just a little so I don't nuke it. And I'm going to put a little stroke, and I'm going to use the soft spot of the putter. That's a hill. That's a hill. Everything looks like it's coming this way, but it looks very straight. So I'm just going to hit a straight little baby putt okay. right into the hole. And make sure you don't three putt. I don't even think of that, though. Try, I know, but try to make it, but leave yourself in a spot where the worst case scenario is a tap in. Exactly. That's why I'm going to use this part of the putter to make sure I don't go crazy. Just I'm not going crazy. I'm with it. 
It's like you're going on a day, you know what I'm saying? And you get a bottle of wine. You yeah. don't, you're not ripping shots. Well, hey, we're okay. on a date. How many shots you want? Kamikaze. Come on, man. Those are some of the best dates. I don't know what you're talking about. You're more of the romantic. Very romantic. Greatest day of my life. I hear you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Bang! Easy game. Kept it in play. Walked Did a lot in. of good things. Hit it off the toe. Made a great line. Made a great putt. Now, the circle of security. I'm seeing people all the time putting their foot like right next to the hole you don't need to do that this little area right here is like it should never get touched put your foot there see you can get the ball don't touch the sides do the things right do these things i promise you thinking around the course better doing the adequate things that is good fixing the pitch marks taking care the golf guys they see you and you will play a little bit better. And you will come home and have told your lady, today I brought 79. That's it.